St. Kitts and Nevis' sprinter veteran Kim Collins and BVI's Tahisha Harrigan were among several other athletes from 17 North American, Central America and Caribbean countries at the historic BVI Twilight Invitational held in the BVI on June 1st at the A.O. Shirley Recreation Grounds. Sean Rose has this report. The A.O. Shirley ground was bursting at the seams on June 1 as hundreds of fans crowded the venue for the historical event to support the local, regional, and international athletes. St. Kitts and Nevis' sprint veteran Kim Collins showed why he is still a top contender in the men's 100-meter dash when he stopped the clock at 10.19 seconds, ahead of fellow Kittishan Antoine Adams second in 10.28 and Jamaica's Dexter Lee third in 10.29. Kim Collins, tremendous run. You look so comfortable. Come on, tell us the secret. We want to know the secret. Well, the secret is I find out you don't have to work as hard as people think. I operate at more efficiency level and it's easier to work and build in a great 100 meter when the body's working efficiently as opposed to when it's very tired. Many fans anticipated another display of speed in the women's 100 meters with BVI's double sprint record holder Taisha Harrigan Scott in the lead. However, a slight knee injury prevented her from racing at top speed. This paved the way for Puerto Rico's Janoiska Kanzler to take the spotlight for a surprise win in 11.62 seconds, ahead of Canada's Kimberly Hyacinth, who clocked 11.63. The BVI's Kareem King was third, equal in her season's best of 11.65. is out, but um, it's a tight race, no, it's a tight one. Harrigan Scott, nursing a slight knee injury, was sixth in 11.94. Um, the end of April, I competed in Miramar and kind of hurt myself on a wet track. So I've been having some up and downs where inconsistency with training. Overall, today I felt good, so there's no complaining that. I was healthy, I didn't have any pain during the race. Leg obviously isn't strong enough and holding up. I was able to have a good start, but the end of my race is still lacking, so just have to build on that. The Twilight Invitational was twinned with the Leeward Islands Junior Invitational. Junior athletes from USVI, Anguilla, St. Kitts Nevis, Dominica, Guadalupe, Martinique and host BVI broke 9 meet records and established the first. Looks like that hill in front, a clear view of hill. And Foy catch the hill is going to take it as far as she comes. Uh, all I wanted to do was just get out as always. And my main focus was just to break stagger. Because all I wanted to do was just keep pumping my arms to the finish. The Invitational, hosted by the BVI Twilight Committee, comprising Steve Augustine as the chairman, Willis Todman, treasurer, and Rosalind Leonard, secretary, is part of efforts to raise the athletics profile of the BVI by hosting world-class invitational track and field meets that allows the BVI's home-based collegiate and professional athletes to compete against regional peers with the advantage of a home crowd. The Twilight Committee says the activities are aimed at injecting resources into BVI athletics to, among other things, further identify and develop local athletes. Sean Rose, JTV News.